Today I'm bringing you a super easy tutorial that is gonna improve your pictures a lot. It's super, super simple, and you're gonna see how you're gonna be able to separate the subject from the background, and the picture's gonna look way, way better, because obviously the subject is gonna stand out from the photo, and it's exactly what you want from a good photo. So let's go to it, I'm gonna put you some examples and you're gonna see how it works and how easy it is. So this is one of the pictures I've taken in London not long ago in one of my photo shoots. And the first thing I would do is to apply a preset. I'm gonna apply one of mine, obviously, but you can apply whichever you like or your own edits. So I go here, I'm gonna apply this one, Cinematic by Laura BC. And it's quite blue, but I'm gonna make it warmer. More or less like that. I'm gonna increase the vibrance as well because I like that jacket a lot to pop out. A bit lighter as well. Rise the blacks, it's too contrasty. Remove contrast. Okay, this is a bit better. I'm gonna put more vibrance. And because I know what I did in this preset, I'm gonna remove this yellowish light here in the highlights. I'm gonna remove that so now it's super blue and it's super city vibes i love it and it's quite moody i love that so something i do as well to make the subject to stand out is add vignette so this is like an extra i'm gonna go now with the main tool i'm gonna go here and add vignette a little bit there you go yeah okay that's quite good already a bit brighter so now we're gonna go with the tool and it's gonna be super super easy you just have to go to the mask tool here Select subject, and you'll see that it selected this by mistake, but actually the selection is quite good. So the only thing you have to do is go here to subtract with a brush and paint. You can put the brush smaller. I'm gonna zoom in here. And here you can see it didn't select the arm properly, but that's fine because you can press here in add with a brush, I'm gonna make it quite smaller, and you can paint manually the arm. You can be more precise, but I'm not gonna be too precise, just to show you, but you can be as precise as you want. There you go. So that will be selected. So once the subject is selected perfectly, what you're gonna do is go to the mask here, in these three dots, go to invert mask, and now, again, to the three dots, and you're gonna intersect mask width, and you're gonna put radial gradient. So what it's gonna do is this. It's gonna select the back of the subject, and now what you're gonna have to do is dehaze the background. Look at this. You see? It's amazing. So I'm gonna remove the mask before and after. It really stands out and it looks way better. I really love this tool, guys. Like, you can use it in every picture when you have subjects to make them stand out even more from the landscape. So what I'm gonna do here as a last touch is put more vibrance and that jacket I wanted to pop out more from the landscape. So what I'm gonna go is here to saturation and rise the oranges till 40 maybe. There you go. And this is an incredible photo. This one would be the final shot. And look at the before. It was like that. It's incredible. You can improve the picture a lot with a preset and this halo effect, they call it as well. So I'm gonna apply now another preset and show you exactly the same. You're gonna see how it works on this one as well. This one is a bit more confusing because there is different lighting. It was sunny this day, so it looks a bit more messy. But I'm gonna apply Moody Greens, which is one of my favorite presets ever, this one. Super, super moody and dark. I'm gonna lift a bit the exposure. There you go. Remove highlights a little bit. A bit more exposure. And I'm gonna rise the blacks as well like that and this looks very good already but i'm gonna do the halo effect again so again go to mask and then select subject and here you don't have to do anything guys look lightroom how accurate it is with the selection so again you go here to the three dots invert mask that's it and then again the three dots intercept mask with radial gradient 
and you do this again and I'm gonna show you a little trick as well so you dehaze as you wish you can be well don't be too strong because it's very obvious so now you see the circle and the halo effect what you're gonna have to do is always try to motivate the available light what is motivating the light It's actually following the lighting of the picture and you can see the light of the picture the natural picture is in the left so what I'm gonna do with the mask is actually simulate the Sun a little bit I'm gonna follow the direction of the natural light of the picture so it's more natural and it's not just a circle is more credible look at that so I'm gonna remove the mask to show you this is the before and this is the after it looks super cool because it looks like a halo coming from the Sun and it's quite natural and also what you can do with the mask is change the temperature so you can actually put it warmer there you go you see it's a bit warmer or colder but cold doesn't make any sense here so you will go to warmer and look how cool it is guys before without the halo and with the halo and the before it would be like this with no preset and no halo and preset and halo and it's way way better guys it's super simple to do as you saw I'm gonna do another one here in nature because this one is quite different as well you see here it's very underexposed I prefer to underexpose because it's better to recover than actually burning out the skies so I'm gonna apply moody greens preset again because I know already it goes very well with this picture moody greens is super dark but there you go a bit warmer on this one a bit more light that's quite good already remove highlights that's not too bad okay so once we have this same thing and you're gonna see how Lightroom selects let's go here to the mask select subject how accurate is that when being so confusing with the tree and everything so go to subtract brush and this is to clean up remove it from here with the tree and that will be it you go here and you invert the mask and intersect mask with radial gradient and there you go and the haze this is very strong but it's to show you and you can make it warmer as well if you like it's too much so this one would be the before and the after without the halo as you can see you can do that with any picture I'm not gonna carry on I have another one here but I think you got my point so I think this is very good guys because it's gonna make your pictures way better look at this photo for example it improved a lot guys like before it was super flat and now playing with this tool I can make the subject to stand out from the background and it looks way better and if you do like a really nice color grading as well it's gonna work for example on this one I know the blues look very very good because it's like a city landscape so it looks super cool so be always very aware of the preset or color grading you apply depending on the picture for example on this one I apply a completely different preset guys because every picture asks for different color grading I know so many photographers they edit the same way all the photos and it looks super cool I cannot make it work I do have my own style and all the presets I have are moody okay so it works but for example for this picture moody greens works perfectly because I know the greens look very very good so you can play with that and if you combine the color grading then you add a little bit of vignette in your pictures to focus the attention of the viewer in the subject and then you apply the halo effect which is super easy you saw it takes three seconds to do it maybe a bit more 30 seconds <laughs> you're gonna improve the pictures a lot because it's not just about taking good pictures which it is but also about editing for me editing I love it I love doing it I'm always listening to my music and editing pictures and you improve the photos a lot and that's it I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't yet and like the video if you took something good from it and I will see you very soon ciao